Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and welcome back to Fridays with Maniac for Bricks. That's right, this old vlog series is coming back on the channel for a weekly video, and I'm going to twist it up for the style of it this time around. Instead of talking about what are going to be updates for the week, or things upcoming after the video goes out, this is going to be a little bit more of the personal experiences I've gone through with LEGO products and LEGO community. They're not going to be any sort of drama bombs or anything like that, it's more of just helpful advice and just some fun stories of my experiences with LEGO. I think it would be something fun to share on a weekly basis, and I actually have a whole bunch of stories ready to go. Today is really exciting. I've been waiting for a long time to show you guys this, and even though it might not be the best technology, it's what I have best available to me. This is my VHS tape of the history of LEGO. This was something that I recorded in about 5th grade, around 2005, to give you a better perspective on my history of LEGO knowledge. And this was something that I developed, not on my own, not for the internet, but for an English class project. You see, at that time, I was supposed to develop a project where I would learn and explain the history of something I was interested in. And I could do it in a bunch of different formats, I usually had some sort of paper to write up, and... The presentation itself could be any way I wanted to. I didn't have to present it as a video, but I wanted to. I was thinking I would do something more interesting than developing it as just a big poster board or some fancy PowerPoint. A video just seemed really cool for this sort of subject. I guess you can say this is where my LEGO YouTube career started. On a VHS tape. Yeah. Ever seen one of these things? I know so I know some of you have. But this, oh, this beauty. I am so happy to find this again. This was lost in my LEGO collection for several years. And over time, I was kind of interested in trying to find it again. But more recently, I thought it would be really exciting to share it on YouTube. Even though it's an amateur quality, it's still a fun little experience that I had with LEGO. Now, to give you some perspective about this, this was around the same time that I had this letter I mailed to LEGO and received a response from. So, if you want to see that video, you can check on the link description below or one of the cards or a pinned comment or however it's going to go up. There will be a video about it, don't worry. It's already been out for quite some time. Um, where I actually read through the letter I sent to LEGO as a kid and then the letter they sent back to me as a response. While I don't have the paper write-up of the history of LEGO or the binder it was contained in, you could say that most of my information came from one of the biggest resources I had at the time for LEGO, the Ultimate LEGO Book. This was published by Dorling Kindersley in 1999, and only outside of that for a few little things online did I receive information about LEGO's history. A lot of it was covered in here, and I decided to do my spin on it for showing it. And so, let's get into the history of LEGO, according to Maniac for Bricks. Again, I would like to give the disclaimer that this is going to be on a VHS tape. It's not going to be digital quality like you see on every other YouTube video. And I'm going to have to record it from off of the screen, because I don't have a way of transferring it from VHS to digital without paying through the nose. So, enjoy it as best as I can record it. By John Melissa. Lego is not just a toy. It is an idea, a set of values, and a long-term commitment to empowering children to use their creativity and build their imagination. In the beginning, Lego is made of wood. <laughs> Old Kirk Christian Hansen was a master carpenter in Denmark during the Great Depression. In 1932, he decided to improve business by making wooden toys. In 1934, the toys were named Lego, which is a contraction of the of the Danish for play well. The Plastic Age. In 1958, the stud and tube coupling system for Lego bricks was patented. Following a fire in a, in the warehouse of wooden toys, the company concentrated all its resources on the plastic Lego brick. Lego Duplo. 
in 1969, Icarus for tiny fingers called the gloves were launched. They are eight times bigger than regular Lego bricks. In 1974, Lego people were created. By, by, 1970, by 1998, 2.3 billion of these minifigures had, had, had been made. In 1977, Lego Duplo people came out. The modern world, 1980s and beyond. The company focuses on education, creating a division called Lego Data. Motorized mechanical models could be controlled via computer. Licensed products bearing the Lego name, such as clothes, books, and accessories, came out in, in addition to products from the Lego Media Division, such as computer software, VHS videos, DVDs, and video games. All represent the company's values of play and safety, and are of the highest quality. The Lego Land Parks. Lego theme parks are in Denmark, 1958, England, 1996, and Lego Land in California, 1999. Many lands of New York, Washington, D.C., and New Orleans can be seen in California. Over 30 million Lego books have been used to make more than 1,000 models that appear in the book. Just imagine, this, this model suggests that with Lego elements, it is possible to create anything you can dream of. Possibilities are endless. Better building, more fun. This is the new model of the new model of Lego. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on the history of Lego. Happy building! This has been a Joseph Melissa production. So that was a fun trip down memory lane. I had the whole setup in my living room and a little bit in my dining room just with building all different kinds of Lego things to prepare this video and reading it from a bunch of index cards. Uh, my mom would usually carry around the camera in order to get everything covered and, well, it was just a fun little thing to do for a project. At the time, I had only read the Ultimate Lego book only a handful of times and I was always curious about the history of Lego, something I was really into and still am very into. So it's really nice that I was able to start it off there and so far I springboarded to a whole bunch of other stuff that I've learned about LEGO over the years. Things that would be in their major history and things that would just be about little products here and there. But it was still a really fun experience and opened the door to a lot of things that I'm doing nowadays on Maniac for Bricks. Let me know in the comments below, did you learn something from my history of LEGO video or was this a lot of stuff that you were very familiar with? I know by nowadays I could go a lot more into detail, and I know others have gone into detail with it as well, but it was still a fun thing for a 5th grader Maniac for Bricks to do, you know, before it was called Maniac for Bricks. So thanks for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you in advance for the birthday wishes, because this is a being uploaded on my birthday, it's a magical 23. So, we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos, and we'll see you with more on the Friday's vlogs for more of my LEGO experiences.